Pris Francis from Pistish Ichav Farm in Brechva is one of the younger generation embarking on a career in the farming industry in Wales. Working at home on the farm alongside other family members, he prides himself with producing high quality stock in the Carmarthenshire Hills. We're on a hill farm. Most of the land is above 700 feet to 1,000 feet in above sea level. We run about 250 acres with 500 Beulah Speckler ewes and about 100 pedigree ewes as well. Also we got about 40 cattle, 30 Welsh black cows and 10 Swinter cows as well. We try and fatten our lambs all off grass and we sell them to Dumbia in Llanabyfa. And with the cattle we try and store them for the summer and sell them at the end of summer in, in Ludlow Market in up in Ludlow then and try and sell them around the age of 16 to 20 months old. A farm with beside my dad and mum and sister, but sisters and colleagues around Harper Adams and it's a joy to work here really. We show quite a bit and we've been going to the Royal Welsh every year really. I think showing is a major part of life in our household because um, we enjoy it and also it's a good way of mixing with other people and supporting us if you win. It's something, a name for your, for your flock and herd then. Although Rhys has grown up on the farm and gained a wealth of knowledge from the older generation, he's currently studying agriculture at Gelliair, part of Coleg Sirgar. Rhys is one of over a hundred apprentices undertaking the Principles of Sustainability in Food and Drink Operations unit developed by the Food and Drink Skills Project to drive skills in the food chain. Whilst Rhys spends most of his week at home on the family farm as well as helping out on nearby farms, he spends one day a week at college, something which his father Aneirin fully supports. Well really if his future is in farming, I think it's a must for them to go to college to learn the new ways of uh, producing food. I always said when I was in college, my father was doing things the old-fashioned way, but now I'm the one doing things the old-fashioned. Things change ev all the time, and I think there are a lot of new things about now that the y young farmers of the future need to learn. Doing a course in college, it's uh, very good because you learn new ways of farming, you can go and go to college and mix with other people and you learn a lot really by going there. You can bring home some ideas and try and do them, use them at home really. I think um, um, grassland I've learned more, how to improve growing grass because the cheaper, cheapest food is grass for animals. He does come home with new ideas about different things. Uh, I think the most things that, uh, the best thing I've learned probably is the, the change that has come about with the new grassland seeds and things and how to probably grow better grass. Um, you know, there, there are new seeds available now that will grow on hill land and will produce more sugars in the grass and whatever. Um, we have put them, we have tried them out and I must say that uh, it has worked, that the uh, field we ploughed last year has got more grass than the fields that we've ever ploughed before. With his son following in his footsteps, Aneirin Francis sees a positive future for food production in Wales. That's so all we hear is that there are more people in the world. It looks uh, as if there will always be a need for food and more food. I think the people in this country do appreciate uh, the quality of food that is produced. Uh, at home here in this country. Certainly Rhys is a young man who cannot imagine an alternative future for himself other than a future in farming. Uh, I think farming's in my blood and it's been for many generations before and um, no, I think I couldn't do nothing else but farming.